Okay, Dave, it's a hectic week for you. First of all, a trip to Rotherham and a long trip to Plymouth. And now you're obviously setting your sights on your next game against Cambridge. But two testing away fixtures have brought you two uh, very good results. No doubt about that. Yeah, I, I thought the lads were excellent in their application in both games. I thought against Plymouth we were better with the ball. Um, and... and, and Rewarded with two two really valuable points, and and like I said, this where we are, we're we're evolving, which is a word I like because it's, I think we we get better when you evolve. Usually, obviously, but, you know, Barris is evolving not a great way, but uh, for example, but I think I think we're evolving nicely. We've still got a hell of a long way to go to get to where we want to be, but we'll give them all the love and support and care and coaching that they need. And, the, you know, while over there working as hard as what they're working at the minute, and that's that's a minimum, by the way, that's, that's not a, not an option, then they will get better because we'll make them better. We'll give them the tools to make them better and they'll, they'll take on board what, we, what we're asking of them. And how, how long that takes is, is a bit subjective because there's lots of factors there, but we'll be, we, we know we're heading in the right direction. But the effort's got to be there, and, and it has been. And I might say we played for probably, what, 20, 25, 30 minutes at the end of that first half, after the first 15 minutes. And I thought we were excellent. And we should have been further ahead at half-time. Second half was a bit different at Plymouth. And we only played for 20 minutes at, at Rotherham, really. Um, and, and we scored a goal. And if it had gone for 10 minutes longer with the sending off, we'd have probably won it as well. So... We know we, you know, we've gone from 20 minutes playing to 30 minutes playing, you know, and we want a full half, and then we want 60 minutes and 80 minutes, and we want to dominate a team. And that's not going to, not going to come overnight. We know that, and that's, but that's where we're at, and they're, they're doing great. I have to say, I'm, I'm really pleased with them as a group. Um, everyone, every one of them, have got to keep striving. You know, we had a 23s game yesterday. We had a chat with one or two after, saying, "Don't don't think because you're playing, you know, 23s after a long trip to Plymouth, don't sulk. It's for you. It's not for us. It's, you've got to keep striving. You've got to get in the team and stay in the team, and, and that's important. So, you know, I'm, I'm really I'm really pleased with them as a group. We all know what Crew's philosophy is about producing players, but you also stress yourself it's a results business that you're in and, and you, you've got to be encouraged because it's now just that one defeat in your last six games and, and everything. So the, the the foundations are just steadily coming along, aren't they? Yeah, no, nobody's mentioned that. Nobody's mentioned one defeat in six. But that's what it is. And you go, well, we, know we, we know we're a long way from where we want to be and we're producing one defeat in six. There's too many draws, yeah. Not enough wins. And then when we go one defeat in six, one defeat in eight, and we've got three wins or whatever, well, then that's... Then we start getting there. Well, that's not a bad foundation. It's not a bad foundation. Um, and like I said, we, we, we know we're trying to build, trying to rebuild a team. And I think we're heading in the right direction. And points give everyone confidence. Results give everyone confidence and belief. So it's important. And I, I say I can't fault the lads at the minute at all. You approached that 10-game mark at uh, uh, the weekend and you, you've said all along it's going to take a bit of time for those relationships on the pitch because it is a new team to, to develop. But they're coming as well, aren't they? You must have seen that in your, definitely in your last two games. Yeah. I think when, whenever we've had them relationships, we've looked a really dangerous team. Like a really dangerous team. Um, does that take time? Of course, it, you know, I, I don't want to, it's going to take a lot longer than 10 games. It's going to take a lot longer than six months to get the relationships really up and running. But, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful and I think we've got, you know, the foundations there to, to, to have a, a real good season. Um, so, you know, like I said, we're still working, we're still, still building. We've got to keep keep going and keep believing we're going to be more than good enough for this division. And and that's unquestionable at the minute, I'd say. We've got to remain throughout the course of the season. And if we do, we'll play more good football. 
we'll have that um, them relationships, them patterns, whatever you want to call it. Um, and there'll be less sort of um, we'll be less reliant on individualism, if you like, whereas at times we are at the minute. But then when you've got individual quality, which we have got in the team, you know, you see, see Scott's goal from, from Tuesday. Outrageous piece of individual skill. You when you sprinkle that with combination play and then relationships, well, then you've got the markings of a real good team. We've still got to work at the other side of it, but not stifle individualism. And we won't, because that's not how we train, that's not how we practice. I want to be entertained. So, you know, we've, we've, we're on the right tracks, but there's still a long way to go. I'm pretty sure the one thing that you'll be in your players' ears with, Dave, is that you've mentioned only once this season, and perhaps the, it was the Morecambe game that they let you down in terms of what application was. But you won't be allowing your uh, levels to dip, will you? Because you've got Cambridge coming up at home, who are not one of the fashionable clubs in League One. Again, on that similar group to yourselves. Yeah. I, I, listen, I, if the players don't win a game, they don't let me down. They let themselves down. It's not about me. So that's the first point. The second point is similar to Morecambe. You know, when, it's interesting. We never say it about Sunderland or Ipswich. You know, the big boys who are in League One. Cambridge are here on merit and they deserve to be here. Much the same as Sunderland deserve to be here because they can't get out of the division. You know, it's the same. Just they've come from probably different directions. One's come down and one's come up. You know, and Cambridge deserve to be here like Morecambe deserve to be here. I thought I thought Morecambe were very good. We just made some real poor decisions, but that's where we're at. We've got to make better decisions when we're given more uh, more opportunity and more time to make decisions. Now, you know that, that happens less when you play the big teams because they're at you quicker and they they, they, they make you think quicker. Whereas some teams, I'm not saying this is Cambridge, but some teams may. Um, may give you more time to make them decisions, but you've still got to be um, really sure and make good decisions 95 plus percent of the times. And that's where we fell short against uh, against Morecambe. We've got to make sure that whether it's Cambridge or Doncaster or whoever it might be, we've got to make good decisions all the time. We, did, we have done for the last two games primarily, um, but there's still, a, you know, we've still got to make far better decisions as well. When to come close down, when to run, even when when not to run, when to pass, when to run in behind, when to combine, when to take someone on. All them decisions that happen continuously in a game, we've got to improve that and we will improve that. So, you know, whether it's Cambridge or whatever, fancied, unfancied, somewhere in between, it doesn't matter. We've got to, it's, it's about us and not about the opposition, really. It brings me on to the next question then about Cambridge because like Morecambe and Cheltenham, you played both of them. They've come up and they've made that steady start. Yes, they didn't get the result in midweek, but they've had a good steady start to life in League One. Yeah, I, I, I think any team that comes out of League Two now is going to be running on the crest of a wave and, 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 and challenge, you know, not necessarily challenge at the top, but be a challenge. You know, you saw last, last season, us and Plymouth stayed up comfortably. You know, we, we were all we were always looking up, never down. And wrong, Swindon and, and Northampton didn't have a good season. I think Swindon not so much football; it was more off the field stuff. Northampton, maybe the style over over how it was, I don't know. Um, but then you know, four teams that come up don't expect all four to be the bottom four. Cause it doesn't work like that. I'm pretty certain Bottle won't be in the bottom four, for example. So you know, you've got to. Got to beat what's put in front of you, irrespective of where they've come from or how big they are or how unfashionable or fashionable. You've got to go out and, and beat what's in front of you. And, and that's going to be the challenge again. It's no different on, on Saturday. One win, one draw at home. You've had good home form in previous seasons. It's just dipped a little bit in the, la in the last few weeks. It's time to get, get on the road and, and get, get points in front of the, the home fans and give everybody a good weekend. Yeah, I think I think we've got to make sure that we um, we've got to make sure that our our levels, our performance levels, are a sufficient standard that we win win games at home. That's, you know, so it's okay um, 
having good hard fought points away from home where the initiative is on the home team to score and we spoil well it's likely that our home games the initiative is on, initiative is on us to score and we've got to make sure we know how to handle that initiative and how 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 to be effective when teams are expecting us to come at them so that's that's important um you know we we can't just be a team that scores goals on transitions away from home or whatever you know or from set pieces or whatever it might be we've got to also be able to break teams down and that's you know that's I'm not just saying that's cambridge because it's not really it was Burton, and we did that very well. Um, so we've got to make sure that whatever obstacles are thrown at us at home, we are, you know, we have the answers like we have done for the last two away games. And just an update: I know it's been a, a long, long trip, and you know you had to spend many hours on, on the coach, but you had illness once again. And uh, have you had an update with you with your players who went down, or how they are, and? Obviously, Callum Ainley's situation. Yeah, Callum's Cal Cal out for one to two months. We're not quite sure how long. It depends on how quickly he recovers. Um, so he's out for a, a, a while. But not um, nowhere near as bad as last year. But still, you know, it's not a couple of weeks. You've got to be a bit careful with him. Um, Kane's fine. You know, he, he had his antihistamines and I think he put his head in the bucket of ice. So all the swelling went down around his eyes and what have you, but he was fine. He had an allergic reaction to something. We don't know what. Um, who else is there? Um, I, I can't hear you. Magia didn't obviously make the oh, bench Magia. because he went down before, before, yeah. the, before the game. Yeah, he said he was, he was. He felt as though he had flu coming on and flu-like symptoms and a sore throat. So we just said, right, you're not coming anywhere near us. You know, we made him stay at the front of the bus. Um, and, then, and then we made him go home separate to us. So um, I don't know whether it's, I don't know, flu season, whether it's just something going around. I spoke to the doc and he says there's lots of little illnesses going around that's not COVID. We're still getting tested. Um, so we just got to be mindful that that's, you know, that's in the population, that's in the community. So. You know, they can pick that up. So, you know, I don't think it's going from player to player, but, you know, they've had an extra day off today. That's why I'm, why I'm working from home. Um, in order to try and, if that is the case, mitigate that as well. And it's a good time anyway, getting back at five in the morning. Um, we'd, we'd have got less out of them if they were trained today than if they were actually physically recovered. So... So got probably a good idea all around, really. So, he, as far as I'm aware, he's he'll be on the road to recovery. Whether he's in tomorrow or not, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I can imagine he'll be okay for Saturday without much training inside him. 